Hello, welcome to Thurso train station. Today I'll be taking a long journey of seven hours towards Aberdeen using Scott Rail. But I'll be starting from here, exactly the northernmost point in the UK. Just got off a ferry from Orkney and you know, when you got seasick, it's not pretty. But I'm excited to go back on the train, passing through the moors, passing through the beautiful landscape. Unfortunately, today things are pretty much closed because it's Sunday, so I can't really go around Thurso and my train is going to arrive in about an hour. There has just been an information that the train towards Inverness is cancelled. If it's cancelled, I don't know how how are we going to get there? And all of these people are also waiting for the train. Hello, right. If you can get me the exact train of passengers out there, I can see about trying to get you on the transport down to Georgetown. So at the moment, one of the lady is talking to a person by pressing the emergency help point. We are all going to Inverness. And do you know, it's fascinating because at times like this, when we have the prob we have the same problem, everyone starts to get together to try to solve the problem. <laughs> a wee update, um, we've managed to get a 16-seater. It'll be there in about 10 minutes. Uh, so you're confirming that there, there will be train coming in 10 minutes? No, no, no. There's a, a, there's a minibus, a 16-seater minibus. Oh, the minibus. Oh, okay, 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 brilliant. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Is it for a trip? Yeah, it is. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Finally. Fun and games, eh? Yes. Yeah. Just push two hands together. Just, just, just one. Just one. Oh, just one. <laughs> <You're there. Yay. laughs> Oops, sorry. Cheers, thanks. The train is already here a bit. And uh, supposedly they'll be waiting for more passengers. It's one train minutes, right? It is, yes, it is. We just couldn't go into Thursday because we couldn't get back out because of the problem with that back. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hardly it's the back coach. They can't reverse yet. They can't reverse it. Right. So that's why they can't go to Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But thanks to you, you oh, pressed no. that emergency. Oh, no, no, must, no, no, must thought of it. <laughs> Look, it could have been worse where there was no one and I was the only one and I didn't know how to figure things out. But because there were lots of passengers experiencing the same thing, then there was a collective effort to try to solve the problem. And thankfully the Scott Rail managed to get a taxi or just the van uh, transporting us towards this George Mass Junction. As you can see, this is the train towards Inverness and we are expected to leave at uh, quarter to one and from Inverness I'll change the train to Aberdeen. Also, if you've got a baby, there is a baby changing uh, load or area over here. You've got dryer, you've got soap, you've got water, although this is not a drinking water. And the toilet itself.
Good morning from gloomy and grey Aberdeen. I feel like the city is quite colourless because it's mostly grey and stony but perhaps that's the character and uh, with the weather like this just doesn't add up is it? <laughs> and I'm heading towards Edinburgh by train. Um, I don't know whether I can be lucky in getting any type of views honestly because if it's like this, <laughs> one can only hope. Welcome to Aberdeen Railway Station. Most of this are uh, still in renovation and constru construction, but it is such a beautiful old railway station, you know. Um, and this is my train towards Edinburgh, <laughs> sorry, uh, it's been a wet morning, very glorious. If you look at this particular railway station and how there are so many black markings from the diesel train that has been coming in and out of this railway station for years or probably decades, uh, I, I just find it to be fascinating with the fact that there are history. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time staying in Aberdeen but Edinburgh will be my very last stop uh, before finishing and completing all of my travel pass journey in Scotland. And definitely train, buses and ferries have been proven that this is one of the best ways to explore the country. that was train journey from Aberdeen to Edinburgh <laughs> and we passed by two magnificent bridges the Thai bridge and the fourth bridge I think unfortunately the train passed by so quickly and I couldn't really um, appreciate and film a lot of the part of the bridges but at the same time being here at this particular railway station surrounded by so many trains it sparks my nerdiness and the sound of all of this train coming in together. <laughs> I'm so giddy. Anyway, I have only a night here in Edinburgh, which is so limited in terms of time frame. 
but the fact that I'm able to go across Scotland towards the west coast, the northern part of the Scotland, as well as east coast, has proven that the public transportation here in the country are quite well connected and pretty much comfortable if you're interested in taking the same journey. This was my train and as you can see the railway station in Edinburgh with Waverley is quite busy. Thank you. Welcome to Edinburgh. The city itself has so many historical buildings, green areas, lots of beautiful places to visit and to explore. I simply highly recommend Edinburgh if you visit Scotland. upwards towards Carlton Hill which is prob probably a favorite spot for locals and tourists alike to enjoy the panoramic views of Edinburgh city as well as um, the historical landmarks of the city. If you like simply being out in nature getting a bit of exercise while in the city there are actually lots of parks hill up here like this as well as Arthur's seat which is even more challenging uh, that you can do in Edinburgh. Over here you can start seeing a bit of Edinburgh all the way to the extension of North Sea. It's such a beautiful day. A hill like this, a green space like this, is such a perfect escape for people who want to escape the busy city life or the noises or the people and find a bit of calmness and overlooking the Edinburgh city just behind me <laughs> with dry weather. It's as if that this is a dream. <laughs> for watching all of this travel series from the country of Scotland. I suppose this past week that I have spent traveling around the country strictly using public transportation has proven that traveling in Scotland is not only safe but also sometimes can be reliable. Well, most times. Uh, one thing that needs to be taken into consideration is strictly the weather. The wet weather definitely 
and just the openness to allow yourself to keep on moving and keep on exploring despite the challenges that may arise along the way. And the people here are so helpful. They are willing to help you out if you have the courage to ask. So definitely this is a country that I would highly recommend traveling around alone. Um, even if you are traveling with uh, friends, families, or anyone that you want to go with because definitely it is one of the very famous countries that people go to for outdoors activities for the nature history and many more so I suppose my initial intention was to get to know the UK even better as my future home and the fact that Scotland being part of one of the countries that constitutes the UK has allowed me to feel more at home and feel more comfortable and I, I suppose that's a good sign and what I really enjoy is the fact that I can just spark a conversation with anyone start talking about the weather and we get on chatting and I think that's what I miss the most during my travels uh, having been able able to travel around but limited because of the language barriers and um, due to the English speaking countries of the UK as it is it allows me um, to be able to connect with anyone um, or travelers who are also coming to visit Scotland. Uh, make sure that you also check out my travel series from other countries and let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I would love to read what you think about it. Uh, I can't wait to see you again on my next travel series and yeah, see you again next time. Bye!